Making progress, officials from North and South Korea holding talks aimed at easing the nuclear crisis ahead of next month's Winter Olympics. The North agreeing to participate in the Games, sending a delegation including athletes as well as high-ranking officials. Here now to react to these developments is General Jack Keane, retired four-star General Fox News contributor. What do you think? Well, listen, negotiations, I think, are always good. You have to go into it with a clear eye, and I, I think our administration is doing that because North Korea has always used negotiations in the past to buy some time to advance their program and, and also to promote some, some goodwill for themselves. But nonetheless, I, I do think, Melissa, that uh, there's some things that are happening. The, after three U.N. resolutions, and the international community has pretty much cut off trade and business with North Korea. Mm -hmm. Not all of them did it immediately. The State Department has been all over them enforcing compliance. Some of the, there's some evidence that is starting to take hold. Gas stations are closing, long lines are forming. There is some significant suffering that the people are going through that they've always gone through in right. terms of malnutrition and starvation. So that could also be a factor here and, and the realization that President Trump and his team has truly put the military option on the table for them. Yeah. You know, I've heard both sides talk about what this means in terms of strength and weakness on uh, everywhere. You know, that this shows the Kim regime's strength because they feel like they had some successful missile launches, so now they can come back to the table in a position of strength, and that's what this shows. Do you agree with that analysis? Well, I think certainly uh, they, they're very comfortable with their program. Uh, and it's remarkable how much they've been able to advance it in the, in the last few years. I think they must have got some help from right. Chinese or Russian uh, engineers or scientists because they, were, they had a miserable track record before the last few years. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, you know, I, I, I really believe that what Director Pompeo said on Sunday on Fox, he said they're just months away from their final objective technology, which is a nuclearized ICBM capable of successfully re-entering mm -hmm. the Earth's atmosphere. And, and if that's true, and we have every reason to believe it is, obviously he has all the facts, yeah. then we're just months away from some kind of a showdown with North Korea. It seemed like these Olympics were going to be a disaster, you know, because they were right in this really dangerous territory. I couldn't figure out why, you know, this was all going ahead. If he does send his own athletes, does it make the whole game safer for everybody? Or is he a lunatic, so it doesn't really matter? Well, yeah, I, I, I think it does make the game safer for everybody. I, I think it, I don't think there was ever a serious threat on their part, you know, to, to sort of cannibalize these games by conducting some kind of terrorist activity or something to that effect. Uh, that, that would have been just absolutely outrageous on their part, and it would have become even more of a pariah than than they are now. Mm -hmm. they, I mean, it, it's interesting, can these talks lead to something else? I mean, is really the question. Uh, it's probably unlikely, but I noticed the president, as of last week, uh, he said, look it, I'm willing to talk. I'm yeah. willing to talk to him if it comes to it. And the president sees himself as an accomplished negotiator. Yeah. Uh, the, the issue that we have to deal with with Kim Jong-un is, is that he is obsessed with the fact that the United States wants to conduct a regime change, given the fact we did that in Iraq, Afghanistan, and particularly Libya after Gaddafi gave up his WMD. That's what really got his attention. Mm. So despite the fact we've told Kim Jong-un many times we're not interested in regime change, he doesn't buy it. Yeah. Is there a way that we could enter into negotiations with him and attempt to convince him that this paranoia he has, which is driving can, his whole he can program. He stay if, it's, if he gives up the program. Yeah, I, I think, I think uh, the president likely has the instincts he would like to give that a try, even though success is remote. Yeah, and he also said today he reinforced the idea he knows I'm not screwing around when it comes to yeah. the military option, and, and I think that's probably true. Sir, thank you for coming on. We appreciate no, your insight. Always, always terrific.